No, no culture differences. <clears throat> that was a burp. Did you smell it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Drea from Lake Crochet. Let me get into the screen. If you like what you see, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. All right, we're going to get right into it because this is going to be the first of many, very, very first of many <laughs> reaction videos. So I was just on live and I was telling my live how last night while crocheting, um, I started watching some of my old content from my old family page. And I remember one of my late crochet talks on here, like through my shorts. And I think I put it in a playlist so you can go back and see it was just what kind of got me over here to YouTube and switching up my niche and all the things because originally I came out as family content. So I just like went on like a little, not a rant because I wasn't mad, but just like my experience with family content and certain brands and how I feel like um, they want interracial marriages presented, right? Um, and a part of my struggle with making content and dealing with certain brands that like focus solely on interracial relationships, it kind of bugged me. So I would never take like any brand deals or anything that made us to use like certain words like swirl or interracial or black and white. I just didn't feel like it was necessary. That's just my personal opinion on interracial marriage. I am in one and it's just my personal opinion on how people use them or try to capitalize off them for some whatever weird reason right so i went on that whole rant on my late crochet talk and then i happened to stumble across the video that pretty much made my point to my feelings so i was putting my blood sweat tears into like my content then what was my blood sweat and tears i was learning and like i was really really consistent and on it and i was like i'm just not getting the views and i had one of my good social media friends tell me like i never met her in person she real cool she got a dope family on social media they're doing really really good on and, and on all the all the platforms um i had a conversation with her and she was just saying like pretty much you gotta use like some of them words like swirl and interracial and all that stuff and i just like no like i can't do it i'll I probably spit up if i just start <laughs> saying them right it's just like ick to me that that was an ick so Needless to say, that is what this is about. It's going to be, this vlog is going to be a crochet with me. So for one, I'm making some black, mini, 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 like those little mini booty shorts. So I got my shorts, barely. And then this is the front. So we're doing the ruffles all around the front. And then, you know, those, the little, I don't know what they're called, but they're little ruffle mini shorts, booty shorts cheek shorts so that's what i'm making i'm crocheting that's going to be the crochet with me part i'm going to be crocheting and reacting to the video i'm reacting to it because it actually was a really good informative video i'm trying to put y'all in my business a little more like via the blogs and stuff and y'all love the blogs and i love the fact that i'm vlogging but some of the content i already made um i can bring over here and show y'all because it answers pretty much the questions i'm even doing it over right and nobody was paying attention to me because they only wanted that one video. And that's why I was laughing because I say out of all the blood, sweat, and tears I put into my videos, this is the only one that went viral. And I feel like it's probably from the thumbnail and because I used the words that they like. So I said, what are the chances that I spoke on it? I have tons of videos and this is the only one that goes viral. Why y'all be caring so much? But since y'all do, here is Mia as very first... Um, blog or video discussing our views on interracial marriages and a little bit about ours and how we met and all the things like i think they we t we went on instagram took questions from people because i was like at one point flooded with questions and people just want to know nothing wrong with that right so um i took questions from them and then we are going to be answering in this video so hold, hold tight what's up gang what's up? back with another vlog all right so today's vlog is going to be like slightly different than the typical we are going to do um a couple challenge well not challenge well a couple question near type of vlog um a while ago i posted on my instagram questions that you would want to know about us 
Um, that along with um, an interracial couple quiz type of thing. Something I try to stay away from, like the whole interracial thing, because like, who cares? But people want to know, mm, you know, yeah, and it's I not all so bad. Different. Yeah, so I'm like, let me just keep my ignorance to the side. Some people just want to know, just interested in knowing because we're aliens. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's like an interracial, diving into interracial couples questionnaire. Pretty much. So, um, how many questions is this? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's 10 questions. 10 questions that we're going to answer based on our relationship. Don't and just which is a quiz. <laughs> and just based on, um, I guess, interracial relationships. Typical questions cool. that, you know, they will go through or whatever. So, um, the very first question is, I guess, just getting to know us. How old are you guys? 34. And I am 23. OG, triple OG. 34 old. And I'm 23. You 23? Yeah. yeah. I love it. He you know, just went ladies, right with it. Ladies, just, just got to run with it. You know, they, whatever <laughs> it's they like, say, I'm 33. Gotta... 33 mm -hmm. and 34. Um, Where did you meet? We met... High school. In high school. His senior, senior year. 07. My junior year. 08. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I want to yeah. know the details. Right. Yeah, so yeah, his yeah. senior oh. year, my junior year, he was literally like out the door, about to be out the door, like close to graduation yeah. when we even decided to start talking. So, um, yeah, so high we school. We met towards the end of the year of my senior year. Yeah, that's what I just said. Ran into each other. That's what I said. It wasn't oh, like, God. like we didn't date in high yeah. school. It was nah. pretty much like. We went on our first date when he was like the week of his graduation. So I still saw him in school, but I didn't see him in school. Um, let me turn off these um, notifications because they are driving me crazy. Okay, notifications off. What's your signs? What is your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. My birthday is December 2nd. Virgo. September 14th. Yeah. Um, I'm not into astrology, so, like, I hate when people, like, get the whole, oh, what's your signs? We are compatible. Like, <laughs> I don't really think it. Yeah. Like, I'm Take not. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I'm not really into that. Um, do you want kids or do you want more kids in our case? Um, no. Wow. <laughs> Team V. Yeah. Like, I got a vasectomy a few years back because, like, we was wilding with three kids. Like, that's enough. Yeah, Where, especially with Lyric and then Mason was back to yeah, back. Yeah, they were back to back babies. And I think like since, that we should have just had twins at that point. And I think yeah. that really helped us make our decision. Like we're complete. Like after them, like we was like, no. And I'm glad we both mutually felt the same exact way. It wasn't like, oh no, don't do exactly. that. I'm a one worker. Like we both was like, nah. cut it. <sighs> cut it. Michael Kids Gang is complete. Expensive. Five people <laughs> in this climate. No, yes. thank you. So... No, we have kids. We have three kids, two boys, one girl, 13, 8, mm -hmm. and 7. That's a, uh, we good. Five. Yeah. Couldn't you imagine us having another baby? No. Like, I've been thinking Diapers, about... nah. No, like, it's not even that. Like, just like, I just feel like we're so complete. I can't imagine yeah. another little person, like, that we have to meet. Do we have the patience for it? I don't have the patience for yeah. another baby. Like, um, it's like... I think it's perfect, or... The forward yeah i'm not trying to go bird. backwards yeah, that's nah. why i have nieces and nephews like exactly. we're out of there yep. and like oh god pick just up, to think about drop off. Pick up, drop how many kids do you think we have if you didn't get the vasectomy at least realistically two more. don't two more at least two more i would think so i would think so too like we we'll probably have five, have five kids. kids i would think yeah. so I think realistically speaking, with the time frame from when you got the vasectomy to now, yeah, I'm not, that's the possibility of like a it least. It was a no brainer. Kids. Long story short, it was a no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. That's over. Kids back to back. Mm -hmm. We would have bunk beds <laughs> all over the place. The next question is How did you know you wanted to get married? I think mm -hmm. I should leave that to you to answer first, being as though like you're the one that proposed to me. How did I How know? did you know that you wanted to get married? Um 
Me I mean, too. I can start by saying, like, I knew that we both wanted to marry each other, like, pr yeah. prior to engagement or anything like that, just through us dating, like, we had a really, really good relationship off the rip, so we will always talk yes. about, like, we're going to get married. Like, we just both felt that we were going to get married. Um, and like, we were young. Ebony and Ivory. We were, like, claiming it we really back, young. Like, like we, we were, like... Best friends, headed yeah. off. Like... Always wanted to be around each other. I was calling out of work just yeah. to get around, just to hang out. And yeah, nonstop. So, so, like, we always knew, like, knew early on there. we were going to get married. We both said it, like, we were going to get married. Yep. It we just, just had felt to get it. the money right and mm -hmm. everything. So, and not even, and it's funny because I like, get the money right. Like, we got married it was young. Never, yeah, it was never, yeah, exactly. You're right. We're going on 12 years married. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think that's pretty young to like date, know that that's the person for you and then like boom get married. Um and have a kid. Like we had Zion. I had Zion when I was, was 19. Our ring boy. Yeah, I had Zion when I was 19. And then like I mean prior and the good thing about it is prior to Zion, it's not like you know how people get married for kids or oh I got pregnant so I got to get married. Like prior to Zion, we were already good. like yeah. We knew we wanted to be together. Like it didn't take a kid for us to say, "Oh, we gotta get married." We wanted. We were talking about marriage prior to Zion. So, um, all right. How, why did you know though? Like, what made you say, "Yo, I'm gonna"? I knew that was that was early because we hit it off. So, like the the spark that we had, but yeah. But what? No, but for for it was like it was. For real, for real, it was our the struggle and and us struggling together mm -hmm. and and really showing like true colors of like yo when you really make it or when we really go through something or when we really get something there this is a girl like she really mm -hmm. showed what it meant like I was down to hold and it out. down like, pop for, for real pop yeah hold it down I think so. I agree with that Mama I love you. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. Like I feel like, like I was down, and and she held it down, and I'm forever grateful. That's why, like, I knew it was a no brainer. Mm -hmm. It was not even a discussion because mm -hmm. it was not a discussion for her to help out when I ain't have nothing. Right, and it's you like I mean? so. <clears throat> one would say, like at that age, like maybe your parents still have you, where you don't have to go through that kind of struggle. But everybody's lifestyle was different, and Ed wasn't raised by like mom and dad. Yeah. Like he was like really like out there on his own. So like the struggle was actually rough for him. He was like a adult adult at a young age. Yes, um, little dirty. He really like Kensington. yeah, like he really introduced me to a lot of like grown up stuff, like grown up struggles. Because when we started dating. Obviously, we were always still staying home, but, like, I didn't have the same troubles or worries or responsibilities that he had. So, like, while dating him, um, it was like, wow, like, you grown. Like, you could do that. Like, <laughs> this is what you into. You got to pay bills. Like, he had his own place and he had his car. And I'm just still at home waiting for his and mom was for dinner. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, we Senior definitely come from, was... yeah, we come from two different, like, backgrounds. You know, and yes. tip, stereotypically, stereotypically, it would be the other way around. Like, I didn't live a struggle life. Um, seeing him go through things kind of, like, grew me up a little bit because I might have just getting involved in them struggles. Like, wait, you got to do what? All right, now I got to mm -hmm. figure out how I'm going to do this and how I'm going to help you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, I feel like that kind of, like, got us to the place we are now with, like, problem solving and building together. Like, I feel like we definitely came a long way yeah. since teenage, you know? So... That's how you knew I was the one. Yes. I would say that's the same reason. Like, I knew that you were solid. Like, you could say anything. To, like, you know how some people are just like, oh, I I really, really had faith in him early on. Like, anything that he said he was going to do, he always did it. So, I never, when he said, oh, I'm going to marry you one day, like, I legit just knew I was going to get married because, like, he never showed me anything other than doing what he said he was going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, oh, he, no, like, you really kept your word with, like, everything like i don't know like nothing that you said that you were going to do that you didn't do so like i when he said we're going to get married i believe them might sound a little uh, stupid like you believe I, this man I, I put I, my, I put but he, my everything I that he ever said he was I going to do it. he always did it whether it was for me or for himself so like i'm just like wow i'm gonna get married like i'm gonna be a wife because he's gonna i know when 
he actually really, really shocked me as to like when yes. he proposed. I didn't think it would be that early. I just was like, all right, I'm going to stick with him because I know eventually it's going to come. Like I, we felt like that solid in our relationship, but like I didn't think he would propose that early. Long story short, like I was really shocked. Yeah, you were. I was really, yes. really shocked. So yeah, next question. Do you guys argue? What? That's kind of dumb. Who's no, that? of course we don't argue. Yeah, we don't argue. We don't argue. No. We agree on everything. Like yes, right. No, everybody argues. Everybody has disagreements. We go yeah, we argue. But everybody, sure. everybody argues. argues. Like I don't care how perfect. Anybody's crazy. Anybody is crazy to say that they're on the camera and they don't argue. Argue, with somebody. like yeah, That's, y'all just don't argue. Then you're not around each other enough. Enough, like I don't. Know. Yeah, you're that's not that's a some real wild stuff. Yeah, you know? I don't know. It's, you're not going to always agree on everything. Three hour relationship <clears throat> per day. Nah. If you actually live with somebody and you're dealing with day-to-day -day stuff, anything that goes on with the <clears> house, <throat> anything that goes on when you have three kids, right? there's going to be some type of argument, some type of stumble. Yeah, they don't got to be an argument. We, we kind of argue over dumb like, stuff. We do argue. We no, argue. Because we'll be <laughs> both at a frustrating point where you'll be in a rush, I'll be in a rush, and we'll try to do this, we'll try to do that, and we'll boom. Yeah, we can get really explosive. Yeah. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, we... Nah. Nah, we won't be doing that. None of that. But nah, we never. do, we argue. Period. We argue. But we also make up. That's why we're here talking about it. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Um, Were there any cultural differences that affected your relationship? I'm going to say no. And... <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to say no. I've never... I mean, obviously, I'm black. He's white. Most people think that comes with like, oh, you guys, your world's got to be so different. I think the reason why we don't have too many cultural differences is because we grew up in the same kind of neighborhoods, neighborhoods like, and around the same cultures. I mean, I grew up in black neighborhoods. He grew up in black neighborhoods. So, everything so it's not like yeah. he's not familiar with how, I guess, people, the world would think black people live. Like, he's been exposed to um, the culture a lot, grew up in it, you know, friends, so family. Yeah, it's like pretty much all he knows. Um, he's not the only person in his family in a biracial relationship. Yeah. So um, I don't think, like, I haven't, I've, we've, I've never dealt with any kind, anything that's like, um, any challenges? Yeah, it's nothing yeah, like really yeah, challenging. Like challenges. we're pretty much like. And as far as cultural differences, no, I don't think there were many, if any, because of how we all came up. Yes. Even when we came to live together, like when we, um, when we started living with each other pretty young, actually. Um, you know how you look for like those little perks, like I wonder how he does this or how she does that or mm -hmm. how she cooks this like or we, how she or cooks that. So different. Yeah, like Definitely. or how she cleans or how everything was like the same. Yeah. Like literally everything. I don't know anything about him. They were just like, oh, that's some white shit. Yeah. Like or yeah. that's some or like you mean like yeah. the, oh that's some black girl shit. Like it was never any of that. Like that's so. So no, no. No, no cultural differences. <clears throat> that was a burp. Did you smell it? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, which leads us to, have you ever dated white or have you ever dated black prior to our marriage? Um, nah. No. I've never dated anyone white. And I ain't really dating, so I was... You, you really never dated didn't. anybody black before? No, well, I, I talked to someone. So but yours I is yes. <laughs> so, so I never dated white before. But your have percentages, you percentages? Your percentage, which goes back to the cultural differences. He grew up in the hood, that's what I'm saying. so your he was exposed I to. Was, I already accepted my like your percentage of the experience. Like your this is crazy right here because right. your neighborhood no no white people at all, uh -uh. right? Your school, neighborhood schools, of course, no. Uh -uh. Your only high school, how many white people in your grade, white males in your grade? Mm. One. 
a very a few. It was a few white people. I mean, our yeah, school total, was pretty like. Total, but in her grade, like my grade, there was probably about two, no, three white people. Besides me. Everything, everyone else was Hispanic, black. Our school some was basically Asian. Hispanic and black. Yeah. We had a sprinkle of white. And that's how my neighborhood was. Yeah. That was my neighborhood. Yeah. So, to answer the question, no, I've never yeah. dated white. You I did, and dated I did. black before. Black, though. yes. Have you ever dated white? No. 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 I've dated black. And that's the next question that I might as well get into it because it's like when when you when they see an interracial couple, especially I the black the person, the you talk Spanish, Spanish? Yeah, okay, so. especially the black person, they can see you with one white person and assume nah. that's just your type. You like white people, uh, no matter how many black people you dated before, you just automatically like white people. All of my little boyfriends, and I call them little friends, all my little boyfriends were black until I got to high school, which was out of my neighborhood. I had to travel for high school. I didn't go to my neighborhood high school. So stumbled, I had to travel stumbled, stumbled upon into different neighborhoods that, you know, brought different races together. In my neighborhood, it was just all black people in my school. So once I ventured out into other neighborhoods, that's where I got to meet other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, no, I don't just like white people. I like a white boy. <laughs> I happen to like a white boy. And we don't really, like, highlight our race. We really just bounce off each other for who yeah. we are. Yeah. Now, like, initially. I never really look at you and be like, like oh, you oh, black. This is, black. this is my black I mean, girlfriend. you know no. I'm black, but, like. I know this is my wife. This is not my. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? So, it's not Now, like, initially, when. And people say, oh, I don't see color. When he first tried to talk to me, I, that's when it hit me. Like, oh, this is a white boy trying to talk to me. Mm -hmm. it, but it's not like when I just saw him around, it's like, oh, that's a white boy. It only took me the white boy thing. It's like when he actually tried to pursue me. And it was like, oh, this is going to be different because he's white. But not like on some... Was I hesitant to date you because you're white? I think I was, kind of. Just because it was a little different, she, like she was. I'm used to black. Dating guard black. was on. Yeah, right? yeah. Fist was up, so it, it took like she was. She was. Oh well, you this. Oh yeah, I, this, I but, okay. but I say I ain't no, say you no, this today. I never like no, brought it up. No, like, you never brought it up. But, but I knew were, within me, it's like oh, this is different. She was definitely guarded. Okay, I was guarded with anybody I talked to, yeah. but like I said. It did stick out only once you tried to talk to me. Like, oh, wait, Eventually this is I the white through. boy. Yeah, obviously, he Eventually broke through. He I was very, through. very, very persistent. Uh -huh. I will tell you that. He did not stop. Like, I don't, And I'm like, well, what's uh, up with this guy? Nah, I wasn't it's, like Does that. he have, like, a fetish or something? Nah, like, what's going on? I wasn't like that. Nah, but I guess he just realized, like, I was it. Like, yeah, what made you go so hard? Like, why you want to talk to me so bad? Just is it because it. I didn't want to talk to you? You know how some people chase... Like, they're like, damn, I got to get her because, like, mm -hmm. she she won't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, was it like that? Somewhat. I, I'll be honest. That, that was a little bit to it. Mm -hmm. It was like, it was like, damn, what was what, what she? Why? What, why? I was I was like, hold on. I'm offended now. Hold <laughs> on. Let me <laughs> let me fix myself up right. now. Let me tighten up let my tie. Right, right, let right. Let me tighten up. I ain't just about to let her. So, yeah. Um, that's so hilarious. Next question. Last question. Um, I don't think it's the last question. I keep losing my page. Sixers game playing. Come on now. Trying to watch the Sixers go Sixers. Were your families accepting of the relationship? Yeah. It was never really a problem. Mm -hmm. So anything. No. I so yeah, we can both go down and say night. like, I'll be feeling bad when I hear like horror stories of like families. Yeah, who like they curse they them be out like and they give them like fuck. real, yeah, and, and then they get the kids involved. Like it's not, nah. it's bad. Like yeah, no, no, no. I didn't. We promote love around here. Yeah, it's and just all love around it's, here. It's not love, then it gets cut off. So there you go. That's how I feel. We'll cut anybody off. Anybody can get the. That's one thing I think I love. love about both of us. Like if it's not resonating with us, I don't care who it is. Like family, friend, anything. Like we're not. So like we're not tied to nobody. Like if you exactly. if we don't feel like we're getting like the proper love, like if it's toxic relationships, it's easy to just cut you off and never ever look back. And exactly. I've experienced I've done it, he's done it, like yeah. it's done, it's over. So um yeah, everybody was accepting 
of him. It was like he was the bit for a while. Like when it came, like it wasn't on yeah. no racist type thing, but it's like, you bringing Dang. a white boy home? Yeah. <laughs> like even my, it's so funny because even like my friends and stuff, like when I first started bringing him around, he actually was the one that started like this whole white boy thing. He'd be like, what used to call yourself white boy? Yeah, yeah. Because I was the only damn white yeah, boy. Yeah, I guess that was what he was called. Yeah, so was like, like yeah, I just called yeah, me white boy. boy to the point where my mom was like, oh, you ain't going out with white boy today? Yeah. Like they wound up falling in love with him quick. Like he was just that was his thing. But like my friends like to hang out with him. Yo, I'm cracking up. You got a white boy or what's it like? But you hear the name, the nickname ringing. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you hear the nickname ringing. Yeah. Um. All right. So have you guys experienced racism as a couple? Mm. And I'm guessing that's like outside of like our family and friends. It was some racist, weird stuff from my basketball tournament in Levittown, not too far from Philly, right? But not as a couple, like... It wasn't as a couple, but she experienced it. I was I was in, in playing basketball. She goes to get something to eat. Where did you go? Subway or something like that around mm -hmm, there? Mm -hmm. Get in the parking lot, and this dude pulls up in a pickup truck, right? Mm -hmm. It was very flags, much so giving us time place. to kill. Yes, definitely. <laughs> It was giving Samuel Jackson any time ago. Yes. It was giving that he had the Confederate flags and everything. And I remember I like went back to try to get at But like so it's like that's what I'm saying. Like it really doesn't matter that because like that's not experiencing racism as a couple because like nothing that's his beliefs, but he never said or did anything yeah, to me. So. I just noticed like you know, it was pretty weird. Oh, there was a time she you 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 told me this was when Zion was a baby and yeah. she was in line. I was at Burlington Co. Victory. A white lady, a Karen, before there was Karens, before mm -hmm. they were called Karens, turned around and said, is that your baby? Yeah, Cause... she was like, and then she, she asked, so, but that's still like, okay, we'll count it as racism that as a couple. Is, but like, I think what the it, question means, like, has, have we, like, that's exactly mm -hmm. what they're asking. Have we experienced racism as, as a, couple? a couple? Like, has anybody said anything about us, like, being together? No, it never happened. Um... I mean, we've had some, like, like he was about to say, the lady, the older white lady in Burlington, she was, like, itching to ask me about this white baby I had. Zion was very, very, very fear. My complexion. Getting, like, he was a white baby with blue eyes straight out the bed. Like, he Curly was white. Hair. I was just like, what in the world happened? Like, I just knew I was going to have, like, a tan baby. You just never know which way these kids are going to go. But he was just straight up white. And um, I was in the store and this older white lady came up and she was like admiring him. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. But she just kept giving me like this look like she wanted to ask so bad. And I and felt it coming. Built up her courage right before Yeah, I, I felt out. it coming. I felt it coming. I was just like, she's going to say something about this baby with my black ass. So <clears throat> he's in the store and she just she looks up and she was baby. like, what? She trying to save my baby. She trying to save you like I stole it, right? <laughs> she was really giving, I stole the baby. But she was like, oh, are you the nanny? Are you babysitting? And I just was like, um, no. Yeah. I, I I'm not. I gave birth to this. I just pushed him out like a few months ago. Yeah. Like he's mine. Um, so I did tell talked. her that he was my baby and she just was, she had like the shot. Oh, he's yours. Oh, he's so precious. And it's like, People are just like something else. And I mean, yeah. being as though he was so white, I could see, but I could see in your head yeah. why you, you would think it. Because if I saw somebody's kid, I'm like, oh, maybe he adopted or maybe. But I'm not just going to go up to somebody. Like, it just be the nerve. Yeah. It just be the. Exactly. And everybody's entitled to their thoughts, but you don't have to speak it. Just think it. I wonder mm -hmm. if that's her baby. I wonder if that's their black girl baby. I wonder if she kidnapped their baby. But that's go let it go through your mind. Don't walk up to somebody yes. and ask, is that your baby? Or, Based off of our skin can colors. I touch it? Yeah, or can like touch just hair? touch it. Like it just nah, it's just a lot with them sometimes. It like is crazy. and I mean them, like, because there is a type of them. Everybody's clearly ooh, sorry, not the same. But you do have some people where it's just like just yeah, the boundaries but overall are... racist we experienced now. No, we've never experienced nah, racism never. as a couple. Um, thank God for that. Because I don't know how I would react to um that. I always say like I'm grateful for um 
us, I guess, coming up in this time because um, I wouldn't have made it back then at all. Mm. Like, I wouldn't have made it. So, I'm grateful for the time that we're living in, the time that we um, are free to just simply love each other as human beings. Like You know what I'm saying? It just kind of messed up when you think about history and where it mm -hmm. came from. And it's just like something should have never happened. That's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. The way I look at racism. It's just like, oh, no, don't race mix or you shouldn't be with him. Like, to me, in my opinion, things happen that should have just never happened. Racism should have never happened. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion on it. People should be free to love and care for and be with who they want to. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But, right. you know, it shouldn't be like, you know, a shit, you shouldn't do it. Like, when we watched that movie, Loving, oh my gosh, when I tell you it broke my heart to pieces, just to think, like, <clears throat> I remember there was this one scene in the movie where they had a reporter come to the house just to see how they live. Because, like, oh, you guys have to be, like, in this different kind of world. There's no mm -hmm. way you guys can There's no way y'all can live together as a family. And I just was like, it's so weird because sometimes we do get looked at, like, weird. What's weird about? <laughs> I don't know. Does this hurt? No, it's the same thing. It, no, it does hurt. Like, if you... I mean, oh, oh, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't Like, hurt. you're some kind of alien. Like, I'm some, some kind of, like... And I was just like, so, like... They looked at this couple as if, like, they were, like, freaks of nature because they just were simply in love with each other. And I think the strongest, well, yeah. like, comment or statement that he's ever made was just, like, when they had to go to court. They had to go to court uh, to fight for their love. But when he just was, like, the reporter asked them, is there any, like, words that you want to say to the judge? And he just was, like, just tell the judge I love my wife. Like, that's just it. I just love my wife. I love my wife. Mm. Why is that a problem? Yeah. Why is that a problem? So, um, yeah, that is the interracial couple question. Because sometimes I just get a little too into it, like a little too heated. Because it's just like it's it's just like ridiculous. What people lead, lead have with love. lead with love. Just be good people. Whether you're white, you're black, you're whatever, exactly. just be a good person. Um, Learn from each other. Yeah. Learn from other cultures, other races, mm -hmm. and everything. That's mm -hmm. what we're all here for. Mm -hmm. Not to damage or down e each other. Always trying to build and learn from each other. Mm -hmm. So it is. Yeah. So. All right, that has been a long-awaited kind of cringy video because mm. I just hate giving into the whole interracial, interracial thing because people just want to know black, so black. bad. Black, black. What is it like being interracial? Yeah. It's kind of like y'all probably. Same old, same old. Yeah, eat, sleep, shit. Get up, do it all over Definitely. again. <laughs> so yeah, all right, gang. That's the end all of this right. video. Um, peace. Peace. That's the end of this video. Watch the Sixers game. That's the end of this video. Um, Blackmas Day. This was Blackmas Day. What? Mm. We didn't even do anything like Christmassy, but we do have like Christmas pajamas Jeez, on. Gang, gang. Yeah. This. Yeah. We do have Christmas pajamas on, but this is kind of like a different Blackmas video. And go Sixers. He is like driving me crazy about this game. So, all right, guys, over and out until next time. All right. I felt like that was so funny to watch. <laughs> that was so funny to watch. But real quick, let me tap in with the crochet with me part. So I don't think I have any more black yarn or I can't find it right now. So I decided to do every other black, pink, black, pink. Cute, cute, cute. Black, pink, black, pink ruffles back and forth. And now I'm just probably gonna make it like a little top or something like that to go with it. But this is what we have so far for the shorts. But give your thoughts on the video guys what did you think what did you think about the video how did it go what's your opinions on it um <laughs> i think it was funny just watching i think it was funny watching we overall feel the same exact way <laughs> to this day but um that's today's vlog i have plenty more um footage of us and our family that i can review so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up